Alright, so what I need to do is... Wouldn't you need to save that point? Yeah, I probably would've. Oh well, I'll, I'll figure it out. What, you you actually need to save that point? Yeah, I know. Oh well. I can, I can add it in also as well. <laughs> I, it just would've made it easier, is all I'm saying. Yeah. This time I'll finally stop you! I didn't even do anything! Fear me in my one eye! He has three eyes. That's right, he has three eyes now. For reasons. Yeah, I know. I don't understand. He's got a little tail. Oh, look at the little tail. <laughs> hey, boys. It's adorable. <laughs> it's like a giant turtle. He looks very, like, weirdly proportioned. He kind of does. I do have to agree with that. Like the, the head is, like, right there in the middle of the chest. Fuck having a neck. He's old. <laughs> He's old? <laughs> He's got back problems. It's those two giant horns on the back. Too heavy. So, seal away, Iblis. Here I come, Iblis. This will be your end. Rock in the face. Thank God this still works. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, pretty much, uh, your best bet. This is actually a time boss, like believe it or not. Yeah, in a sense. Uh, he can get rid of all your platforms, sort of like how the, uh, Egg Viper can. And once he does that, you're kinda dead. So you know. Yeah. Why can't bosses be smart? Cause that would- Raise the lava level! I'm pretty sure you have complete control over lava. You are made of the stuff. You are born from the stuff. And here's why I replace it with Entropy. He's a ninja! This is legitimately why I replace it with Entropy's theme. It's just for this alone. That should've hit me. Yeah. <laughs> totally should've hit me. I'm not even gonna bullshit that. You're a bit late there, Blaze. A bit late. This is why I replace- It's weird how his shoulder is like, curved in a bit. It does. I Which means they're, not, they're basically not still more like fleshy lava. Pretty much. I kinda didn't do anything. How you doing, neighbor? Booga booga booga! Neighbor, what are you doing? Neighbor, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Blaze kinda just died. She jumped off the edge. <laughs> I lost my imaginary friend! Well, that's... bad. It's a sign of maturity, Eric. Why? I'm gonna just send her into another dimension anyway. Well, you know... That's the step. That's it. the road to adulthood. Road to adulthood is yeah. sending your imaginary friend into another dimension? What are you 21, Eric? That's what you do. I thought that you just send them to Fosters. No! You fight Iblis! You fight Satan! You're turning 21 first. Fuck. Yeah, kind of regretting this now, aren't you? No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> really, though, this boss is not that hard. Nah. If you keep on him with, like, throwing rock at him and stuff... Like, pretty much in this next phase, he will die. Yeah. He'll destroy, like, most of the platforms, but... It's only if you're mucking about too much, then that's when you're... If you die, it's, in a sense, your fault. Okay, there we go. I was actually kind of wondering if there's... Are you trying to get hit? Yes, I actually am that one, because... Why? <laughs> there were certain points in which I should have gotten hit, and I didn't. Punish me, game! I deserve it! Take him in the balls. Oh, you already did. Yeah, I already did. Uh, that's why he's kind of gone. <laughs> also, Blaze isn't completely gone. He's, she's dead. Booga, booga, booga. I'm gonna get you. My contacts. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> I can just kill him with these. Nah, that's lame. Ah, <laughs> that's so goddamn lame. <laughs> Do the boss again. <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> so fucking anticlimactic! Oh my god! I thought that the game stops you, so you have to kill him with the big ball. That's what I thought. Every single time I fought this fight, you have to. I always kill him with the big giant ball. I guess I must have just done enough hits on him. That's so lame. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Bliss. Teddy Rock. <laughs> oh my god! That was so anticlimactic. It's still an S, but that was anticlimactic.
Good job, good job, Eric. You made this boss fight worse. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. I've been doing this, dude. You're talking to the same person that added in when you know his scene in which he comes in and he's trying to intimidate Sonic. I replaced that sound effect with Wily Capsule from Mega Man Two. <laughs> Oh my god, but we're done! We saved the day! The future is saved, Eric! But then there's the last story. Eric, why gotta ruin my good mood? Well, I already made that boss fucking anticlimactic as hell! It's okay, Eric, the future's saved. Until Rivals. We Rivals can't... came out before this. Rivals 2. Fuck. Sacrificing Chow! Now, look at this, okay? Uh, CG cutscene, in game models. Weird, because the smoke looks beautiful here. I know, but then the in-game models. Okay. Why? He's not even sealing them inside him. He's is that a fucking tiger? Okay, well, this is a tiger. Yes. Oh no. Why won't it accept me as the vessel? That's why it accepts Blaze. Cause you're a little bitch. And you have weird fangs. All the hedgehogs have fangs. Everyone has fangs yeah, in this game. Don't worry. My soul is already a lit with flames. See, they're referencing that Rush exists! No, they're referencing she has fires. It's not referencing Rush at all! She controls fire! No, but then you also have to think about it. Royal family. The whole reason apparently, according to Sega, is that it was sealed inside her is because she's a princess. And again, different dimension. So that means we're sending two chaos symbols to a different dimension as well. No, nope, chaos symbols follow. That's right. I forgot about that. I'm sorry, I can't take you seriously when you have in-game model and not Kill me cutscene. already! This hurts like hell! Kill your imaginary friend! What is he even gonna do? How's he seal a different dimension? How's he have that power? Chaos control. She has the emeralds! Chaos control. You're my friend, right? I'm your conscience! Still so naive. <laughs> See, she even knows! God damn it, Silver, come on now! And this this music is just so happy for the scene that's going on right now. I'm going super! What too super? No no no. This is the song that plays whenever she's doing her Sonic uh, Winter Olympic Games when she's ice skating. Huh. Good luck, Silver! I don't think I'll see you in the Olympics! <laughs> that's really, that's it. No, she appears inside of Boom! Uh, Sonic Color DS as well. Yeah, I know. For some odd reason. The day is saved, yet the city is still fucking destroyed! <laughs> Don't worry, Station Square, you'll rebuild from this, you'll rebuild from chaos! All's well that ends well, right? You know what's funny? Final story! Only character that doesn't come back is Blaze. Yeah. She's D dead. Different dimension, bro. She's dead. Different dimension, bro. She's dead. Didn't happen. <laughs> like 06? Didn't happen. That's why she's alive. And down for actually one of my favorite uh, themes. I like Dreams of an Absolution. I really like it. <laughs> so, that is Silver Story, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Mm. Why don't you start? Well, let's start with the good. Dreams of an Absolution. Okay, let's start with that. Um, Silver with the gameplay, since he was originally introduced in this game, for some reason they have this thing of introducing new hedgehogs after every five years. Silver as a character is not that bad. His motivations, his whole character thing is nice, if they built on it. They didn't really build on it, like, past this game. Since, you know, there's nothing else that really has him as a main character besides rivals. But basically there, he's basically reset. Power-wise, it's interesting. But since he's really slow, that kind of detracts from his whole cool fact with the psychic uh, psychokinesis. And the worst part is it's inconsistent, because he can go fast with his psychokinesis. Yeah. In the beginning cutscene alone, it shows you. And if, like, since the Sonic game's all about speed, if, if Silver's thing was faster, but he just floats around everywhere, that would be fine. Like how he did in the uh, Generations fight. Yeah, that was actually... I love that Generations fight. That's yeah. one of my favorite uh, rivals back. If anything, make him... They, ha they had the game set on like, a specific base based on Sonic, but since every they had to like switch up Shadow and Sil Silver, really Shadow wasn't even supposed to be in the game. He was supposed to be an extra thing, which is funny. Well, actually, another character that was cut out that was supposed to be in this game was Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic was supposed to be in this game. Oh yeah, I remember that. Metal Sonic was. Bunch of things supposed to be. Bunch of things that was supposed to be in this game. I'm really excited about the Metal Sonic. Yeah. I really like Metal Sonic. <laughs> That's Silver. 
His thumbnails were nice. Except for the ball puzzle. They're just a bit too long, I think. Yeah, that's the thing. Because he's not speed oriented, he doesn't get through levels as fast. Or it seems that it seem, makes it seem that the levels are going slower than they should be. I mean, in some of the cases in which I was doing this, I skipped in uh, Tropical Jungle. I skipped a good five minutes of that level. Yeah, right there. I don't think I was supposed to, but uh, fuck that. Yeah. And really, the biggest one I think is Flame Core. Twelve minutes. I still had a close to twenty thousand time bonus yeah. on that. That's. That's really... I mean, I don't hate Silver as a character, but he was just introduced in a very bad story. Yeah. If it folk, I feel like... I don't know why. I feel like... Part of me feels like if Shadow wasn't in there, they could have focused more on Sonic and Shield. That probably would have actually... That's probably it, because they, they didn't exactly shoehorn him in since he had the best story. Yeah, Funny Shadow... Enough. He had the best story, and he has the most plot significance. Yeah. But if they didn't put Shadow in and focus on Sonic and Silver, that kind of rivalry, then it would be fine. That's what that's how it worked in Sonic Adventure 2. Because yeah. you had both Sonic and Shadow. Of course, Shadow was introduced there. There's a whole dark and light thing. Yeah. But since was, this was kind of emulate the adventure games, it said for some reason. Adventure won more too, because at this point it yeah. wasn't even ten years old. Yeah. It was eight years old at this point, so it's kind of weird that they're emulating so much from Adventure 1. Because everyone just clamors for Sonic Adventure 3. And I don't know why! I know I literally every this is oh hold on. What do people want for Sonic Adventure 3? I literally have no idea what they want. I don't you know. You want multiple characters? We you have... want hub worlds? Unleashed. You what do you want? I don't understand what they want. Because they want Adventure 1, but they want Adventure 2 story. Technically, Sonic 06 is exactly what that is, but just bad. Wait, just bad. But it's a it's the base of what they want. Pretty much. It, I don't know, it's just hard to really decipher from it. Oops. I mean, it's it's like every every single time I hear someone say Sonic Adventure 3, like when I went to Sonic Boom, they were just chanting SA3. Like, we want SA3. You can't, it's physically impossible for SA3 to be a thing now. It's like, um, Half-Life. You can't, it's physically impossible to build to that height. If it's out, unless it's perfect, it's unless it's like what everyone in the adventure era, like the adventure era fans want, everyone's gonna bash on it. The game developers nowadays, like not the game though, reviewers nowadays probably won't see it as a good game because they're gonna bring things from adventure, like they're gonna bring things from adventure and from SE2. Mention those two things, especially when they had colors, generations, and unleashed the daytime gameplay. It's gonna be weird. Yeah, that's really and how it is. All the different characters, it be like. It would slow down the game, like how it was an adventure. That, that's the real thing that they hit at a really good accord when they cut it down to just certain characters in the later ones, to where it, eventually when it just became Sonic again, with Tails being like a sidekick there and then Knuckles or Amy, because they were in the classic series. I mean, and people are probably going to jump all over you, uh, Travis. Because uh, fair he, enough. I'm he's, he started with the adventure series. I'm, I, I saw adventure series, but I don't... Yeah, I best saw adventure series on the Dreamcast, but... I don't see what everyone wants in Adventure 3. SE2 was good game back in the day. Nowadays... It hasn't aged It hasn't as aged well. well. SE2 is still better, you know. I'm not one of those people who think SE2 is the best game. No. I know that for a fact. People, a lot of people think that. I, fair enough, got stuck with Sonic Series in SE2 battle, like everyone else, but I'm not, like, hooked to that game. I see it as a flawed game. An aged game, I should say. I think the problem, for me, like, between Adventure 1 and Adventure 2, I personally prefer Adventure 1. Not really in the presentation-wise, but mainly for the, the three characters that you would play as the first three. It was it worked good with Sonic stages. Sonic stages for uh, speed gameplay was actually really good in how the physics were handled. Yeah. Tails, the racing was kind of okay, but sometimes they were fun. But Knuckles, I think they hit a really good accord with the emerald hunting. Yeah. Really, the rest of the characters, they were just sort of added on, as much as I love... The thing with Adventure is, how they did it good, they based everything off Sonic, mostly. The base... Sonic was the base. Then we had Tails. What could Tails do? He could fly, and what to make him a bit different in level design? He races Sonic. And it goes along with the story, too. And it also, like, him, like, maturing, yeah. gaining his own confidence, which was completely shat on Adventure 2. Yeah. And then we had Knuckles, which is basically his, um... Sonic 3 Knuckles, where he climbs around, glides everywhere, but something different. Have him go up to, back to the Master Emerald thing, but he has to collect it, which they kind of tacked on to SA2. Well, yeah, really, in the end, what we're saying is, why do you want a Sonic Adventure 3? What do you 
want from it because really with all the hype on how it is nowadays it's just gonna be a disappointment i mean i would love if somebody like perfectly explained what like good se3 would be i mean technically sonic 06 is a good base but if you could like explain i would love to like i don't know just see what you what you think of it really really bring i'm not asking myself i'm just play curious yeah. really just basic bringing this back to 06 silver there were a lot of technical problems and a lot of the problems in the PS3 yeah. version that... Now, Travis here, he's never... You've never actually seen a full-on playthrough like in Silver Story of the PS3 version, have you? No. So you did not know about any... I didn't realize it. it was that bad. Yeah, it was... It is... I will legitimately say, I will go out there and say, if you're going to get a version of 06, get the 360 yeah, version. Get 360 Avoid the PS3 version at all costs. Yeah. Avoid it. I... It pains me to say that, but <laughs> avoid it, because it's like the lesser of two evils. And really, story-wise for this, there were so many, like, just instances. You can time travel at will. There's so much more that you can change. It's even worse, because Mephless didn't really do anything regarding Silver. Yeah. Silver's story, exactly, technically, didn't need to happen. It really didn't. Like, towards the end, we started to really see. Silver caused most of this. Like, initially, it wasn't his fault. Going on to it, though? It is. It's he had just... multiple chances because initially he wanted to know and do anything to save the day. That's what his thing was. But he missed like the first chance. He missed this, another chance where Elise was technically dead. And from that, it must it should have clicked that Iblis is also deceased as well. But since you know he was now friends with Sonic, that emotional tie tie in and the fact that he you knows he's kind of like young. In a sense. He's naive. Yeah, he's not as uh, worldly adventurous as Sonic or whatever, something like that. I can't think of the right word. He kind of like got like wrapped up into that. Really, all in all, though, that's really how Silver's story is. We're not done with this, le ladies and gentlemen. We still have one last story. Shadow's story. Which I will be bringing on Mr. Be a Dragonite for that one. Yep. So, anyway, I think we're going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas 1359 Yeah, for Balor. Thanks for watching Silver Story. See you for Shadows. Bye. You want to say bye? No. <laughs> <laughs> Be here. You're like, Blaze. I don't exist. Go away. <laughs>